Hello, welcome to episode 12 of The Fish Tank, and I'm recording this in my brother's uh, back room downstairs of his house, and uh, his housemate is sat on my left hand, so uh, you want to put in a wave, Nick? Thank you very much. And uh, Nick was at Nicky's house, mate, was actually telling me earlier on that he now watches a fish tank on the television. Because he can get internet over the television, so uh, thus watches it on the internet on Jimbo Studios on the television. Apparently he watches it in widescreen, so um, hello Nick. Good to see you. Just a bit of fun, you know. I'm not even sure whether it was actually broadcast in widescreen, but not to worry. Anyway, it's uh, time for Apology of the Week. And uh, I must apologise for the frequent mentions of politics in the last week's, last few shows of the week. And as it's coming up to local election time... I don't want to mention any more politics, and I apologise if I have in any way influenced people in terms of who they might vote for on uh, in the local elections. So, sorry about that. I do really apologise, as Tony Blair or David Cameron might say. Or Mingus Campbell. Got to mention them all, haven't you? Uh, I think people have complained because I tried to get Labour Party uh, MPs onto the show. Uh, but I did also ask David Cameron if I wanted to appear, but he said he couldn't appear on the show because if he drove up here in the car, he'd release too much carbon dioxide into the uh, atmosphere, so he didn't fancy doing it. But that's not to worry, that's uh, his opinion, he's uh, more than entitled to do so. But anyway, uh, on last week's show, I got sent a letter. Uh, this week, I've not been sent a letter, not a sausage. Although I did get sent a sausage, so some things even themselves up. So, yeah, what's been uh, in the news this week? Well, uh, Prince William has uh, split up with his girlfriend, long-term girlfriend, some people might say. And uh, I think they split up, apparently, they weren't happy with the amount of media intrusion into their life, which is something that I read about in the sun. It was on the front page on Saturday morning. But I also, uh, I also saw it when I got up to have my breakfast. Saw it on the television. It was uh, the breaking news at 8 o'clock on a Saturday morning. So that's probably not what they really wanted. That's sort of kind of why they split up as far as I'm aware. But not to worry, it's uh, their life. One person actually say that his girlfriend wasn't of the right stock which makes it sound a bit like a cow, or some kind of oxo cube or something. So, a bit, bit, a bit unfair to her there. I think she's, uh, you know, quite nice. So, uh, if, you're, if, if Kate Middleton wants to appear on the show, feel free to... Uh, we've still got a slabometer running, so... She can appear. Put her side forward. Right, uh, what else has been happening? Well, I went shopping the other day, actually. Uh, today, in fact. Uh, to go and buy a new pair of trousers, which was uh, an interesting experience. I won't really show up trouser size it was, so I had to uh, ask the woman at the desk what size trousers I should get, and she said, do you know your inside leg? I said, I know it better than anyone else does. And uh, I managed to get a correct correct pair of trousers to fit me in the uh, appropriate manner, because I have to wear them when I go to work. And it's pretty tricky to get a pair of plain black trousers nowadays, but I got them in the end, so that's all right. And also, I was in H&M in Meadowall, and all escalators, when you go in uh, onto the escalator, the one that you want to get on is on the left-hand side. So if you want to go up, you get on the left-hand escalator and it goes up. And if you're coming down, you get on the left-hand escalator and it goes down. In H&M, in Meadowall, the escalator that goes up is on the right-hand side. And I didn't realise, I thought it was the left-hand side one. Walked onto the escalator, and I, I went nowhere. People were just like sort of laughing at me because I sort of stepped onto it and then came straight back off because the escalator took me down. So I had to then move to the right-hand side and go upstairs. It was uh, rather embarrassing, but not to worry. So anyway, uh, it's the time of the show where I must uh, talk about the celebometer. So obviously I can't get any politicians on the show because I don't want to influence anyone. So perhaps a snooker player, maybe, might fancy coming on the show. As it's uh, the crucible about starting Sheffield. Sean Murphy, perhaps, who uh, he's former world champion, lives in Rotherham. He's uh, a local lad, so he might fancy appearing on the show. Or maybe his brother, Eddie Murphy. Uh, apparently they are brothers. They uh, look very similar, certainly. He might fancy it, uh, or they might be perhaps busy talking to Scary Spice about whether or not her child is his child as well as her child. Apparently that's a bit of a story that's blown up over the last few weeks. Uh, a parental argument, so to speak. But anyway, uh, it's time for the headline this week as well. Uh, this week's headline, it's not worse, um, it's from the BBC News website and it, I presume, was probably uh, released just after the World Cup and it was uh, breaking news. Europe. Owen Hargreaves breaks his leg playing for Bayern Munich. Which, uh, on the main front page of BBC News, all right, I mean, I know he had a good game against Portugal, but surely him breaking his leg is not sort of massive breaking news. Unless, of course, they're saying breaking news, they're talking about him breaking his leg. So, uh, it might be a clever little thing they've done there, but I doubt it is. And also, Owen Hargreaves, why is it under Europe? 
because it's part English and part Canadian. So it should be under UK news or American news, like North American news, not Europe, just because it's playing for Bayern Munich. I mean, when like a British holidaymaker has an accident abroad, say, uh, I don't know, there's been a coach crash, I don't think it gets listed as European news. It's still UK news because they're from the UK. So uh, I think you got it wrong there, BBC. And it's not really all that important anyway. So Anyway, uh, the quote of the week this week comes from uh, the Everton footballer and former Manchester United footballer, Phil Neville. I presume he's talking in his uh, Everton days on this one. He says, fourth spot is what we're aiming for. We don't want to be second best. Well, it should be. Surely finishing second is better than finishing fourth. Because if you finish fourth in the Premiership, then uh, you're going to have to qualify for the Champions League through the uh, preliminary rounds. Preliminary, rather. Rounds. And if you get second place, then you can just go straight in to the uh, group stages. But anyway, that's Phil Neville here. He's uh, probably about as clever as his brother, I'd say. So yeah, that uh, brings a conclusion to uh, this week's Fish Tank. And uh, I'll leave you with the sad news as well that apparently David Beckham lost £100,000 on the Grand National at the weekend. Apparently he bet £50,000 on a certain horse when he watched the race, and they bet another £50,000 when he watched the race as repeat. So uh, that's David Beckham for you. I'll see you next week. I'll be back in Loughborough next week as well. Uh, see ya.